watch how can we execute a Terraform script using Jenkins file. Or it, it can be used for multi, uh, different type of builds environment but currently I am using doing my experiment with Terraform. So what you have to do as you can see you have to wherever you have kept your uh, Terraform file main.tf okay this is nothing this is just a simple uh, s3 bucket creation into each tos2 reason okay along with the code you have to keep your jenkins file so you can see like this only you have to write like j j is caps here and everything is uh, in a smaller letter so jenkins file like this you have to name and inside this when you will go you will get set of so pipelines our declarative script only like the in the last video i showed you like how to write these all things so you can see here we are doing git checkout and getting our code from github to our jenkins server after that we are performing a certain steps like stages going through certain stages like a terraform init plan apply and destroy so this all thing will be done and here you can see we are using auto approve so that it will not pop up for yes or no do you want to deploy this infrastructure yes or no so it will do what it will just give it yes so this is what so as coming to the this part is done so if you having problem like how to write this this uh, scriptive pipeline or just go through my previous videos you will get to know okay now i am going to the jenkins dashboard like how we can make use of this jenkins file just click on new item create a like jenkins file demo okay so i'm choosing this pipeline itself just click on that and wait so once this is up what you have to do instead of this pipeline script now what you have to do you have to select this script from source code management scm so now here what you have to do you have to just do scm by your git only okay and this is the repo url you have to pass like in earlier stages if you have remembered in the freestyle method you will have a dot you had you will have option to choose git here itself but uh, here you you can directly provide the scm repo url so this is my uh, code i will go to the code i will copy this link and i will go back here and i will provide this okay so let's verify this enter the git credential so actually uh, you can see here my git repo is right now public so i don't need any uh, password and username to log in it if you need if your git is private then please go ahead and create one user add your use uh, github user here username and password and you have to give description okay and you will add and that will authenticate your git github repo okay for my case it is a public repo so i don't need to authenticate and second step what i have to do i have to check this is in main branch okay but here by default you can see it is set to master so please edit this master so once this is done just click on apply save if we will get any error we will try to rectify that nobody so that you will have a better understanding like how to do it so let's wait for some times so you can see here you got a new window here like declarative checkout scm so it done what it just it just fetched the dot uh, jenkins file from git now it's done git checkout data for minute done plan is going let's see the console output here just click on that okay so you can see one to add terraform apply is going for let's wait for some moment until this will be created so you can see s3 bucket is getting created this is added and then the next step i have added like after creation it should destroy as well so it should give me a 
success message in the last if uh, everything goes right so let's wait for some time until it destroy the resource which it has created okay when to destroy you can see here okay so in end of the pipeline you can see end of the job it is done and it succeed okay so like this you can use Jenkins files and instead of writing all the script in the Jenkins here you can do you can create go ahead and create a Jenkins file and you can define all the values so the in the same way also you can like in the uh, recent last video what we have done we have went for a uh, we have seen like how we can parameterize th the builds so same thing you can do in the jenkins file as well so no need to worry okay so in that's it for today thanks for watching